Hi, I'm um, starting tonight streaming a space mining game that I've started working on. I've uh, been working on it for a couple of weeks now. I've uh, got a little bit set up so far. Uh, it's going to be, you're going to mine rocks in various ways. At the moment I'm working on a asteroid style level. So this is what we've sort of got at the minute. We've got a ship that will infinitely wrap around the screen. And somewhere there was an asteroid, wherever that's gone. Yep, we have an asteroid which we have a laser that you can destroy the asteroid as well. Very basic at the minute. I've also started on there'll be a sort of higher level galaxy scene. So at the minute we've just got, you fly around the same. And then you can, once you get to a planet or asteroid field, you can then go in. So, first of all, what I want to do at the minute, the... Uh, lasers that the player fires just keep going on forever so i need to get those so they destroy after a certain amount of time so let's have a look at that <coughs> so what we'll do we'll add a timer node into this <coughs> Call that destroy timer. And um, what we'll do in the script, we'll put this to auto start, one shot. Set it to do it for two seconds at the moment, and now we'll set the connect that to a signal. So now, when, when that timer finishes, it'll call this function. So uh, what I want to do is Q3. That should now destroy after. Not sure whether that is actually destroying or not. It looks like it is. Yep, there's no lasers there in the queue of what's running. reduce that time slightly. Stop it running. Reduce that to one and we should then see it on screen destroying before it goes off. See there, after half a second, they all get destroyed. Come make it slightly more.
Right, also what I want to have is a cooldown between the player firing so they can't constantly fire. So... I'll just add a bull in. And in ready we'll set that to true. another timer onto the player. Not point five, I think that'll be too high, but I can change it in a minute. <coughs> so we've got that set there. <coughs> I put it on the laser. That needs to be on the player. Right, now we'll add the, the timer to the player ship. Hey Dunny, thanks for the raid. How are you doing? Ian, good to see you. My kind of stream, this heavy metal, some old geese track code. <laughs> Trying, yeah. Yeah, I'm just working, it's a new game that I've started. I'm planning on doing through most of the year. It's a space mining game. It's got to be built up with loads of like mini games. Uh, first one's like an asteroids style game where you'll mine off from asteroids by destroying them so at the minute we've just got a little ship that flies around screen wraps so you'll fly on forever got laser that fires just just added a thing to destroy that currently hitting asteroids has no effect with the ship but you can shoot them and destroy them and we've got a galaxy screen, which is just a mechanic at the minute where you'll fly around the galaxy and then enter all these little mini games. So you fly over this sort of signifying asteroid and then you're into the asteroid bit. 
so it's very early at the minute but that's where we're up to there he is in the flesh yeah I've got my webcam on today and here was me selling your fighting man game to everyone yeah that's just a challenge so it's every two weeks uh, for 10 rounds if I keep getting through so the first round was to make a unique mechanic which I can show anyone that's interested One second let's close that down So this is the farting game. I mean, it's just a mechanic that if I get to the next round, I presume I'll will build on it. Just farts a toxic gas cloud out. Hi Bud Pico, are you okay? Maria Finch, design's very cute. Yeah, cheers, thanks for that. New to several steel lectures, didn't realise it was every two weeks. Yeah, so I think it's middle of next week, I think the next stage is if I get through, which I think with the numbers entering, it was meant to be 100 people and he lost 20 each after the first round, but I can't see 100 people submitting to be honest right so back to the space game how'd your stream go Dunny? Oh, well, there for most of it but I was ducking in and out So what we we're doing was adding a cooldown timer to the player ship so that they can't spam the laser. So what we need to do is when the player fires, we need to set the can fire to false. Should now just fire once. It was good and cheers, nice to get back to it. Oh, is that not the scared played for the current scope? Fire can fire. Got two ears in it. <coughs> Egg. Yep, so we can now just fire once. So what we now need to do is set that timer going. Still learning go, don't really, so a lot of the times you have to look stuff up. We can do simple stuff, but and that's not gonna do anything different. So we start that cooldown. Now we need to connect that signal.
And then when that's finished, set campfire to true. Hi Josh, how are you doing? Yeah, working on the mining game. Got quite a few ideas for it at the minute. <clears throat> as well as like this uh, sort of asteroid mining level I'm planning on. Sort of there being random things when you're going around the galaxy where you might get attacked by pirates and that'll lead to like a shoot 'em up level. Uh, there'll be some parts of the galaxy will be protected like by bosses and things. So I think there's quite a lot of fun stuff I can do with it. So we've got it so you can't spam the fire button now. I think I'll just make that slightly less. Maybe not 0.3 seconds. Right, so what I need to work on next, need to get some more asteroids drawn. Uh, some smaller ones that can then, when you shoot the bigger one, they'll break up into smaller ones. Pretty good. Good holiday, yeah, yeah, it was really good. Nice for a change, I didn't touch computer for nearly a week, so come back refreshed and ready to get on with this game now. Slightly smaller asteroid. I'm planning on drawing loads of, sort of separate planets, but I found a really cool program that uh, I think not James Acast to put a link in the Discord to uh, that it sort of generates planets, and there's another one that generates sort of star fields and stuff. Christ, you get the shakes. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Probably the longest I've gone not on a computer for a lot for a good few years anyway. Uh, you've seen that. Yeah, it's a really cool thing. It's written in Godot as well, so I think you can actually integrate it in, but at the minute I'm just outputting PNGs from it and using those, but I might have a look at integrating it into the gate, into the code.
that'll do for now, I think. Still undecided whether to give everything outlines in the game, but at the minute I am doing, can easily remove them if I change my mind. this over into good up Right, find that and copy that over. So we've got an asteroid scene. What I'm going to do, I'll just duplicate for this now. I, I'm going to make a base asteroid class at some point and then inherit from that. But I think for now, I'll just create another file. Uh, what platforms can go dot target? Uh, can target most of the stuff apart from consoles, really. Uh, so it can do web mobile, uh, PC, Mac, Linux. Uh, there are ways games have been gotten to like Switch and PlayStation and Xbox, but I think you have to use some third party sort of tooling to do that. Probably see the for the wraparound effect on the asteroid and the player uh, there's because when the player gets to the edge it, it, of the screen it wraps around and then comes back on the other you will still should still be seeing things off the edge which are over this side of the screen so the player and the asteroids have all got these nine extra copies of itself which they don't have any colliders or anything, they're just purely images so that it creates the illusion of a continuous world. So they just all have this pivot uh, to, that's to stop it rotating. I just cancel out the rotation and then add the rotation to each sort of sprite in the child, if that makes any sense whatsoever.
Oh, I am familiar with nine slicing. Yeah, and I did make an Asteroids game in Unity once, and the way I did it in that, I used nine different cameras. Uh, they all sort of focused on the one asteroid, and then I sort of moved them out to the left, right, and corners and things. So that's another way of doing it, but I've gone with the just duplicate sprites this time. Found this cool little plug-in for Godot as well. I don't know, you probably know it's when I'm typing, you get these a bit of juice when you're deleting and adding stuff. It's just a plug-in that ridiculous code in it's called. Yeah, so in the code you can see here I've set the pivot rotation to minus whatever the actual rotation of the sprite is and then apply the rotation individually to each of the individual sprites then. Because uh, before that, uh, all the sprites were rotating round, so I had to cancel out that initial rotation. Obviously I still needed them to look the same, so I had it back in. Right, so that's a medium asteroid done. Just need to... Change the sprite on all of these. Have your game coming on, Josh? Camera and everything. Yeah, the only thing that's missing is the stream avatars because I've set that up on my other PC. And I tried copying the files over, but it didn't seem to work, so... And I was only looking just before stream, so never got them added in. Maybe tomorrow's stream. Right, so if I add that into this asteroid level now, we should also have a medium asteroid. Where is it? Asteroid medium. <coughs> So dinosaurs on tiny bikes is back on the go then sticks. Where did I put that other? So now we've got a large asteroid, a medium asteroid. <coughs> Next, get a sm small one drawn. Then I'll start looking at probably a collectible and then add them all together to start spawning when you break the different asteroids.
yeah, a wee bit at a time. It's a good that way, that. Just doing a little bit each day. I've not noticed when you came in, Sticks, did the auto shout outs work? Do a little asteroid to fly around. Sorry, never noticed. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm not sure whether I set them up properly on this computer or not. If anyone wants to go watch Follow Sticks, uh, he streams game dev and various games. Dead by Daylight, played a lot of Cuphead over Christmas, which, as far as I know, you completed that. I did, I beat that horrible, lovely game. You, you had some patience beating that, because I'm still, I've only completed about three levels on it, I think. I think it must be my age now. I've, I don't like games that are that hard as much. I thought I did, but I just found it really frustrating. Let's add the outline around this one as well. Yeah, the streams I do, there'll be a mixture of where I've got the webcam I'm on, cam on or not. Uh, depends. If I've got use of my son's room, I'll have the webcam on, but otherwise it'll be without. Right.
Right, so we'll add that into Go Dot now. Got to have loads of random asteroids as well. And as you go deeper into the game, into space, there'll be different asteroids that'll give up different, more valuable metals. I've um, got planning on having like a tech tree where you can refine these into different metals and products and then build various larger ships, upgrades for your ship. Uh, sort of fuel to allow sort of warp drive traveling between different galaxies. So I think there's a lot of scope in this that hopefully it'll keep me interested and I'll actually be able to finish it. And I might do a little bit of Ghost Blaster Devin among as well. Right, so that's the... Asteroid Small added in. So what we'll do, we'll duplicate that scene again. Um, I'll remove that script and create a new one for it. Let's say I, I, I'm duplicating code at the minute, but long term, all these uh, different things that are common between each one, I'm going to create a base asteroid class and have these inherit from it. Which, to be honest, I might do. I might do shortly, once I've got this small one working. Right, asteroid small. Did I call that script asteroid medium again? I just added the same one back in. No, I didn't. How come you went back to good up? Uh, I'm missing it a bit. And I, I really want to try and get good at it. So... It's one of my New Year resolutions that I'm going to give Godot a real go this year. I know you're thinking I've said that before, but I'm really going to give it a try and get competent at it. So I don't feel the need to go back to Construct all the time unless I choose to. Because at the moment I always go back to Construct because I'm always thinking I can do stuff quicker in it because but that's only because I've used it for be nearly eight years now so if I don't stop using it and use something else then I'm never going to get better and I'm still wanting to try 3d and with good at having proper 3d uh, it gives me the option then to do a 3d game as well at some point So, asteroid small. Right, copy all this for now. Add that into the level.
not change the stripes on that small asteroid. I just thought I didn't change the hitbox, hitbox size last time either, so I'll need to do that as well. now be a small asteroid there. <laughs> yeah, so we've got large, medium, small asteroids. Let's just change this collision shape. And same on the medium one. Maybe a capsule will be better for that, but for now I'll just leave it with that. Right, let's have a think how we're going to do this. I'm going to duplicate this and call this asteroid large. Change the one, wrong one there. Uh, so that's asteroid large. Remove that. We'll give it. Give this, I think it's class name. I need to check the exact formatting of this because actually, I think I did it on player layers or so. Name like that. So that's got class name of asteroid. So now I should be just be able to extend asteroid. you do it. It's going to be a lot of learning making this game. A lot of reading documents and probably very slow progress but
Fanläufer. Fanläufer. All right, yeah, I don't need any of this now. <laughs> then it means I can do different things, just extend the different functions depending on the size of the asteroid as to what it does. So, asteroid. Ian, you'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure I will. It's just all new because whilst I've done Ghost Blaster, I've been flip flopping in and out of Godot and Construct. So, I've never really learn it as well as I probably should, so... This is the game that makes me learn Godot. That's part of the fun though. Yeah, yeah, sure is. So they should all still function if I've done it right. Yeah, so we've still got Three different size asteroids. We all inherit from one asteroid class. Right, what's next on my list of things to do? I just threw together a really quick to-do list on a sauna tonight, so I've got a few tasks to do. I suppose could draw some explosions. Explosions are destroying the asteroids and creating the next level of asteroids. I think we'll do some explosions first. First I'll just make a small little effect for when you hit it but you don't destroy it. I could do it with particles I suppose. I'll draw something for now. Cause looks like in a few minutes. Just one more frame, one light last spec from each. Mm. 
Yeah, that'll be fine for now. Just add a little bit of shading onto it. Ice Stick's been here for ages. Yeah, he, Ian came in with Dunny, I think, when he raided. Did you have a good Christmas and New Year, Ian, anyway? And it's the new job going well. Export that as a strike sheet. Hi, uh, Christmas was magic, new jobs also great, cheers. Oh, that's good. How old's your little one now? Is she one or two? Christmas is always better with kids, so. Save that as a PNG. And get that added into Godot as well. Ah, <laughs> calm down, nearly 11 months. My age, you forget stuff. Alright, that's right. We'll stick them in here. It's the music all right for everyone. You know, not like everyone's a metal fan. I use pretzel and they seem to change. I used to always play the rock playlist, but that's locked now and I'm too tight to pay for premium. Asteroid hit effect in. So we will create a new scene. Doesn't need to be anything special, so it can be. So does it even need to be a node 2D? It could probably just be a sprite and I'll just animate it. Effect onto it. It's, uh, four horizontal frames. And then we'll add 
Let me see about. So we'll save that in the asteroid if it's going to be purely based around the asteroid. To help rename it to. Add a script to that. Can I trigger this straight away? There is a way where you can trigger the animation and then subscribe sort of to when it finishes and then destroy it, but I can't remember how to do that, so I know I have done that in God or, uh, Ghost Blaster, so I'm going to have a quick look at my previous project and see how I did that. So you can see what I'm looking at. I'm just looking on Git at my previous project. Uh, what would he have done it on? Uh, I think I did it in here anyway. Maybe I didn't, but soon find out. Yep, this is what I'm wanting to do. So basically you connect to that. Play the animation and then Q3. Right, we'll just cut and paste that. So it connects to the animation finished on this and then calls destroy node when it ends. So what we need to add into our animation, uh, asteroid base class now is a reference to that. So it's probably, it's got to be the same as that, but just for the different asset. Right. 
if I could type. Asteroids. Call the scene asteroid hit effect. <laughs> I'm going to do this the same way that I spawn the lasers from the player. In the level, I've got this node which has a script on it and it connects to a signal. And on this one, when I shoot the laser, it calls this to spawn the lasers and they spawned as a child of this. Means that the player ship doesn't care whether the laser gets spawned, it just sends a signal and then this listens out for it. Sort of decouples objects from each other in the game. So I'm going to add Do I change this to just be used as a general effect spawner? Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'll use the same one for now. Uh, so need a new signal. Uh, keep all the signals just in a singleton. Makes it easier for calling the same signals not from various objects. I'll probably reuse this for all explosions and things, so we'll just call it spawn effect. And it'll take the effect and the location it needs to be spawned at. This function here, I, I just use it. You get a, a warning. Don't know whether it's. No, you, you get a warning in the console and it's annoying, so I just add this emit signaling. If anyone's watching that knows a nicer way of doing this, feel free to speak up. But this works and gets rid of the warning. I now need to connect to that. So I called it spawn effect. So we'll add that function in that it's calling. <coughs> uh, 
and that takes the effect, which will be a packed scene. And location, which will be a vector 2. That'll be an effect dot instance. And then we'll add that to the tree. And then effect dot position. Equals location. <coughs> I have a put a comma there. So that should be able to be used for pretty much any effect that I want to spawn that's a sprite. I'll just pass in what the effect is and where I want it. And then that should then create it there. So I now need to add that to copy that because I always forget how to do it. Do I want to do it on the asteroid or... Yeah, I'll do it on the asteroid, but probably at the point where the, of the laser's position. did he have this working? I think it was in the player laser that was yeah when the laser hits a kinematic body if it has an asteroid take damage we pass give it one damage I'm passing the damage value in it's only one but because I'm planning on having variable strengths of weapons so that some asteroids will be easier or harder to destroy so they'll probably need more powerful weapons to get them done quicker. Probably want to do it in here as opposed to well, plenty to keep asteroid things in the asteroid, so maybe I'll pass the location through as well, and then I can spawn it at the location of this laser. So if it's the left of the asteroid, it'll sort of the hit effect will be on the left. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I 
I'll do it after it's done the check for whether it's destroyed. Because we don't want the little effect spawning if... It's already got to have a big explosion. Uh, what did I call that signal? Spawn effect. And we need to pass in the asteroid hit effect. And we need to pass in <coughs> for now we'll just pass in the global position of the sprite but we'll change that in a little while to be a specific position once we've got this working That should call that signal, pass that. And the asteroid hit effect destroys. Right. I think that should work. Yes, we've got the hit effect working. It also still did it when it was destroyed, but we can fix that. So what we'll do, we will pass in a vector 2 to this as well. Hit location, that'll be a vector two. We'll pass the hit location, so that means in the player laser. That's the global position of the laser. See what that does. Nice. Cheers, Ian. I'm quite surprised how smoothly this is going. So that's hitting now on the side of the asteroid that the laser hits. needs a little bit of playing with. Let's have a look at the laser scene. I think it's hitting that Yep, it'll be hitting with that end, so that's why it's so far away. So what I'll do is add a position 2D. And I'll pop that at the... that end and then that if I pass that position through that should then cause it to be where the actually hits the asteroid so 
Let's try that. Yep, that's better. Right. What to do next? Let's have a look. suppose while we're doing explosions I could do a bigger explosion for when it's destroyed and add the logic in for that. I think I've already got an explosion that I can probably use instead of drawing from scratch for now as a placeholder. So let's have a quick search through my old projects and find a a suitable explosion. What games have I made that have got an explosion? I end up drawing one at this rate because I can't find anything that's suitable. I right, found my folder with all my old things in. Nope, can't find one, we'll draw one. Now I'm going to make this quite a bit bigger, I think. I keep going from the same file because I'm trying to stick to the same palette and I've added a, just a few different colours into this base palette. So I'm just working off the same one till I get around to actually saving the palette. Right, let's get a quick 
quick get a reference image of an explosion. Right, I think I'm going for a sort of explosion, a bit like when the Death Star sort of explodes in Star Wars. And it sort of goes in a, a ring. We'll go with that sort of explosion, I think. So, what colour should we go for? Spoilers. <laughs> if you've not seen Star Wars 40 years late, 40 odd years later, then I'm sorry. All the spoilers are here. Right, what colour should we go with this explosion? I think maybe a bluey sort of colour. I'll right, we'll make this larger. I'm using the mouse for this pixel art. It's ages since I've used that because I've been using my tablet, but. Not got that set up here. So they go out in a circle and then as it gets to its sort of fifth or sixth frame it'll well we'll break it into smaller circles and then get those to fade away.
I'll add some more shading and stuff in once I've got the basic shape of the explosion sorted out. You stream streaming this weekend, Sticks? So I'll just use a different colour because I'm going to start splitting it up into the smaller circles here, I think. I think maybe I've gone too far there, but maybe it needs another frame between those. Yeah, we'll add another frame between those. What have I done? Messing about here, getting things wrong. Right, that's right. Yeah, that looks more natural, those sort of sizes. Yeah, I'm not going to add any more shading, I'm just going to get all the correct sort of shapes and then
and I'll just drag these out a little bit more then like we did last time I might do one more frame with just a few little dots left pixels even not dots Just have enough room in this 64 pixel square to <clears throat> yeah, one more frame. These look great, dude. Cheers, Josh. Yeah, I'm just I'm getting the shapes in first and then I'll start off quite this bright colour and then as it gets further out I'll add a few more darker shades in. I have to get my drawing tablets help in this room. I find it quite frustrating doing all this <laughs> with a mouse now. I've got so used to not using a mouse. That was quite good. Quite pleased with that for the basic shape of it. I'll probably just end up scaling it smaller and then touching it up for the different asteroids because I'll make a different size explosion for each of the three asteroid sizes.
quite enjoy drawing explosions. Quite an organic thing that you don't have to be too precise with. Once you sort of understand how they sort of f you can form them, they're quite straightforward to do. together now. It's 
So yeah, this game I'm hoping that maybe about six, well, four to six months I can have some form of playable version of it, maybe just with mining in. But I say I want to add lots of other like mini me mechanics into it, different shoot 'em ups and things, so I think it's one I'll probably keep adding to after I've got a basic version work version working. Uh, they should blend into a single ring as it goes out. Uh, they stay a little bit too clumped. Yeah, what well, I'm sort of... I'm sort of trying to have one ring and then maybe that one should still be more together. Yeah, I get what you mean, Josh. Sort of here when they start breaking away, they, they sort of stay in, in their own little balls out as opposed to... Yeah, I get what you mean. Do it sort of a quick and dirty way for now. See what this looks like. Uh, you do you. I think as they break up, they should expand it. No, I think I think you are right. Need someone to point stuff out like that because you get so engrossed in what you're doing that you don't actually look at the bigger picture sometimes. looking a bit better. I think we could probably still be going a little bit further. Could push it a couple more frames. 
Yeah. Hmm. Quite a big jump from that to that. May put one in between there, but I think I'll stick with what I've got for now. Maybe do like a secondary shot. Yeah, could maybe do one that's more sort of a, a line sort of following it. Yeah. I might put another few frames in, but I think for now I'll just... I'm happier with that that bit now I think it needs one between there because those are really not broke at all and they're quite broken but we'll do that in a little while Probably get rid of the uniformity of these as well because they're just quite circles, not. Love the colours chose. What for the explosion or the, the palette in general? I tend to stick to the same palettes most of the time, to be honest. I get them off, uh, oh, what's the website called? Uh, just low spec palettes, uh, this is where I, I go, it's not my go to place to get palettes. Uh, specifically what I'm seeing for explosion, yeah. I sort of there's so many different palettes on here and there's some really good ones. So I just had a look through and sort of went for one that I thought would lend itself well to a space game. And then the plan is just to add like air for the asteroid, just if there's the odd colour I, I want that's not in it, add them in. I'm not being sticking to it too much. You're peeking a wee bit on your mic. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm using this mic on the headset, which I've not got my normal mic, so... I'll fiddle about with the settings. Let's bring it down a bit. Hopefully that's probably a bit better. I think I'm probably going to call that it for tonight. Uh, probably going to stream again tomorrow night. That's the plan anyway. Uh, so let's have a look. See you there is to raid. Uh, thanks for stop, stopping by and thanks for hanging about for so long. What do people want to watch? Do we want to watch some Project Zomboid or some more game dev? Anyone got a preference? 
Cheers, Ian, for stopping by. Josh Sticks. As I've been doing game dev, need you ask, is that Project Zomboid for you then? Right, we'll, we'll go raid Bud Pico then. So, I say I'll probably stream tomorrow night and I'll carry on with this explosion that I've been doing and get some more done on the game. So, I'll catch you all later. Thanks for stopping by.